Welcome to our praise and prayer class today. We're so glad that you've joined us. And today we are celebrating the faithfulness of God. You're going to hear two stories of those who have experienced that. First, we're going to hear from Dwight and Allison and their precious family. And we're going to have a special update all the way from Africa, from Amanda, and how she has been experiencing God's faithfulness and how he has been providing for her. So you can look forward to that. In Psalm 100, it says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his holy name. For the Lord is good. His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues to all generations. Trevor, why don't you share a verse with us and open our class with a word of prayer. Thanks, Twyla. I'm wondering, with all of us who are meeting together today for praise and prayer, how many of us would consider this a time of exercise? My guess is that the majority of you are seated comfortably, just as I am, and it may not seem like we're doing much exercise. Nevertheless, whenever we take time to praise God and pray to God, we are exercising our faith in Him. And faith, when it's exercised, it grows stronger. Today we're exercising our faith, affirming our trust in God and in His faithfulness. And the Bible tells us in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3, that the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Reminding one another of God's faithfulness is something that helps our faith to grow. And it's something that I believe will happen today, in this time that we share together for praise and prayer. I invite you to join me now as we pray to God, to the one who is faithful forever. Our living Heavenly Father, we come to you today with our praise and our prayers. We thank you for your faithfulness to always be with us, to strengthen us and protect us. Thank you for your mercy, for your loving kindness and your welcome embrace. During this pandemic, we need extra help, Lord. Please grant us courage and grace. Help us to follow your lead and to do your will individually and together as your people. Help us to share your love and your message of salvation with everyone, both near and far. Shine through your church right here where we live, where we are, and in every country of the world, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi everyone, we're the Mar family. <laughs> this is Dwight. I'm Hello. Allison. And who are you? And Rhea. Rhea. And who is this? Tammy. This is Tammy. This is Camden. She was born on March 31st in the middle of the coronavirus. She's a COVID baby. That's not going to settle, apparently. <laughs> Having a baby in the middle of COVID was, was really, really hard. I'm um, saying hi to people and then introducing her through a window or through a door uh, was often um, mixed with a lot of joy and sadness all together um, as we couldn't celebrate the way that we wanted to. Uh, but it also took some pressure off because we didn't have to go anywhere because we weren't allowed. Uh, so that was nice. Um, but every day it felt like I was just surviving. Um, I didn't know how I was gonna do, how I was gonna do my day. I was often really yucky with Bria yelling at her and Cammie would not stop crying as evidenced here. <laughs> um, and so uh, it was really, really challenging at first. Um, some truths that helped me through um, um, were... You wanna switch? <laughs> Okay, go to mommy. <laughs> Some truths that helped me uh, were, was the idea or the truth that um, God wasn't gonna give me anything I couldn't handle. Uh, that the fact that I had a screaming baby in my arms and a toddler wandering aimlessly around at my feet didn't come as a shock to him. Um, he knew that was gonna happen. He planned it that way. 
Um, and he didn't leave me there alone. Uh, he was going to give me what I needed um, each day to do the things that I needed to do, whether I did them well or not. Um, and so uh, passages like Psalm 46 and Psalm 91 and Lamentations 3 um, were really, really um, beneficial and verses that I hung out, uh, hung out in and uh, studied a lot. Um, there were days where all I did was just just scream help in my head to the Lord uh, because I just didn't know how I was going to do it. Um, but he proved himself faithful, uh, just like he always does. And um, I know that um, there are moments in my faith journey where I can say, you know, the things that I said I believed really became things that I knew and uh, hung on to and uh, grew my faith. And so that's what having a baby in COVID has done for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I was very thankful that um, I was able to continue working right through the whole thing. I, I had two weeks off when Camden was first born, which was great. But um, yeah, thankful I could continue providing for my family. But at the same time, it was really hard going to work knowing that Allison was home alone with a toddler and a newborn. And I knew how hard that was. And, um, yeah, some days it was hard to kind of focus at work, and but thankfully my employer was fairly flexible, allowed me to kind of work a few less hours so I could get home and try to help out a little bit. But it's been, uh, it was def definitely a struggle, but it's been a blessing to see and to experience the Lord come close, like he always promises he will, but um, we've... I suppose in a way we were sort of forced to just slow down and actually realize that um, his promises are true and he is faithful and um, he'll give us what we need in the moment that we need it. So we're very thankful for that and for all the support of our friends and family, even though it was mostly digital or, or through a patio door, um, even those moments um, were very much appreciated. Yeah, Rhea, do you have anything to say? <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> all right, well, blessings and um, Lord willing, one day we'll see you all again in person. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for Cammie's safe arrival and the blessing that she is to Dwight and Allie and Bria. At a very difficult time of COVID restrictions, you were present in their lives and you encouraged them with your word and with your promises in scripture. Thank you for the answers you gave to the cries of Allie's heart, that she could know you would help her and be there for her when family and friends could not. Thank you for the scripture verses that you gave her. And thank you, Lord, that Dwight was able to work during COVID but that he also had the flexibility that he could be home and help with the girls. Lord, you have worked in their lives, especially over the last four months. And what a wonderful testimony we have just heard of your faithfulness and your presence in their family. Now, Lord, I pray for Cami and Bria as they grow up. May they come to know you as their personal Savior at a very early age. And I pray that you continue to guide to White and Allie as they raise their girls to love you as they do. May we as their church family remember to pray for them and do our part to be a faithful witness of your love to Bria and Camden. May you richly bless them in the days ahead. In Jesus' name, amen. The faithful love of the Lord never ends, his mercy never creases. Great. Great is the favor his mercy became fresh every morning. Lemonations three twenty one to twenty three. Good morning everyone, and it's such a pleasure to be with you this morning at your prayer and praise class. Um, I'm Amanda. I'm a nurse here at Matcha Mission Hospital in Zambia. I've been here since 2016, and I've been lucky enough to meet with you a couple times at your church over that period of time. 
Here in Zambia, we've also been affected by coronavirus, same as the rest of the world, so that has changed life a bit. Not as dra drastically as in Canada, but for sure there have been great changes that are in place. So for the four years I've been here, I've been in the pediatric ward. In March, I was removed to start uh, coordinating COVID preparedness, meaning looking at how the hospital is running, how patients enter the hospital, how they move through the hospital during their time of care. So we have been greatly helped by a lot of donations. Um, BIC in the US, the World Mission section has given uh, money to put toward COVID. BIC Canada has sent money. Samaritan's Purse has given us donations and other organizations also. So we've been very blessed to have, net by now, over the previous four months, we've stockpiled a very sufficient number of supplies. So masks, gowns, and gloves, we have, we have ample, and we're very blessed and thankful for that. Fortunately, we have not had to use most of our supplies uh, regularly because we have very few suspected cases of COVID and no positive cases to up until this time in Macho. So we're very thankful for that, although we feel that we are as well prepared as we can be at this time. So since the work of preparing for COVID is mostly finished, as of last week, I'm now back in pediatric ward, which I love more than anything else, and it's been great to be back with my children um, on a regular basis now. So thank you so much for your prayers throughout this time, and just continue to pray that that people would take the, the illness seriously, but that they also wouldn't allow it to cause them to live in complete fear, because living in fear is not a, a path to victory and through Jesus we do have victory. So just that it would, that would be, that we would be aware, but that we would not be overwhelmed by the unknown of what could happen for, to each of us. So thank you so much for sharing this couple minutes with me and we're praying for you also in Canada because I know it's not, I've heard it's not been easy um, to be away from other people to feel alone when you're surrounded by other lonely people also. So we're praying for comfort for you and we're very thankful for the protection that we've experienced so far here. Although the numbers are still increasing, um, it's not been what we expected it to be, so we're thankful for that. Anyways, have a great day everyone. Lots of love to you all. Dear Lord God, our Father, thank you for Amanda. We have heard her tell how you have been protecting them at Macha, and we pray that this protection will continue. Thank you that Amanda was willing to move into this new position of making the hospital secure, and thank you that she has now been able to move back into her regular position at the children's ward, a position which she loves. Thank you for the donations to Macha Hospital. Thank you that there have not been any positive cases. Thank you that they still have supplies and are prepared if they are needed in the future. Amanda has asked us to pray that the people at Matcha would be aware of the situation and would not be overwhelmed. Father, we join in praying for this. She has asked us to pray that people would take the pandemic seriously, but would not live in fear. We join in praying for this. Father, I thank you that you placed Amanda at Matcha Hospital at this particular time for a reason. Help her to sense this in her own spirit. Encourage her in her times of personal devotions. Help her to continue to understand more and more of the Chitanga language so the church services will become more meaningful. Minister to her today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Luke 10, 27, he answered, Let the Lord your God and love him with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, 
and love your neighbor as yourself. Thank you for joining our class today. It's been great to be together. Celebrating the faithfulness of God is something that we want to punctuate our days with, right? And we want to keep praying and keep praising the Lord for his faithfulness. Our next class is coming up on August the 15th. And right after that is our vacation Bible school from the 17th to the 21st. So you might want to get registered for that. And I continue to hear stories like this one. Did you know there's a group of moms that get together and it's called Play and Pray. And what a great idea for the moms to let their children play outdoors and for the moms to pray together. Let's keep finding ways that we can stay connected with one another and join our hearts together in prayer. Take care. God bless you. Thank you.